Hey everybody, what is up? We jump here and welcome back to our video. Today I wanted to cover how to go ahead and use some of these kind of Discord kind of almost fancy tech techniques um, because they are very very cool. Now if you want to figure out by the way how to do this cool like theming that I have on Discord, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and I will go ahead and make a video on it. I should also mention uh, I'm the audio for this first uh, or for this video got screwed up so I had to pre-record it but anyways we're gonna head back into the normal video and I'm gonna show you how to do some of this fancy tech including italics bold bold italics underline you know strike through is underline italics underline bold underline, bold italics strike through underline bold italics it's pretty cool and uh, I wanted to show you all how to do this along with this I'm gonna be going ahead and showing you all code syntax so what this will mean is you go ahead and have color in your discord text and also highlight code if you are a programmer um, again, this audio is pre-recorded, and, um, uh, yeah, just give me a minute here, I'm going to wait for, for my former self to go ahead and get ready to start the video, um, and, so yeah, the first thing, though, that I will be covering, I should mention before, once this loads, there we go, is italics. So in order to do italics, you're gonna first want to put in asterisks, or an asterisk, and in order to do that, you're gonna hold, you're gonna press shift and eight at the same time, and it's gonna create an asterisk asterisks for you of course um, and then of course after you've done that you're gonna put your text inside now there are actually two ways to do this but I'm gonna go over both ways um, but um, you'll see an example of how to do italics in just a second here I should also mention thank you to Shatter and Beta Noir on Patreon for supporting me um, and again I highly apologize for the fact that I had to re record it mean, yeah you see uh, yeah, I don't know why my former self took so long, and I again really apologize for this, but I don't want to I don't want to re-record this because that could take a while. Anyways, yes, yeah, so we're gonna want to do star, then your text, and then it's important with all these that you add another star after it. So italics text, and then actually it turns out I accidentally added a uh, cheese permission to access the channel, so of course I tell cheese um, that you know he he should ignore this text. But also you should know um, that. If you want to go ahead and join my Discord, you can go ahead and do that with the link uh, in one of my videos about Discord. If not, I'll have it probably in the description. But anyways, the other way to go ahead and do italics is to do it with underscores. As you can tell there, underscore your text, and then another underscore. And as you can see, it adds that uh, italicizing. Um, it's a very, very useful thing. And of course, I should also mention, if you want to see more Discord tutorials, just let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to be covering here is bold. Now, bold can be done with two asterisks. So, you know, italics is done with a single asterisk, and bold is done with two asterisks. So bold, bold you know, italic, ita er, sorry, <laughs> asterisk, asterisk, bold text, right? And then asterisk, asterisk, and you'll get bold text. And of course, it doesn't matter what's actually inside of the asterisks as long as it's text. Um, you can't really make a, an image bold because that would make no sense. Now to do a strike through, you're going to do two tildes. Now tilde is the key above tab and to the left of one, and you have to hold shift in order to get it. But you notice, I do tilde tilde, strike through, tilde tilde, it'll go ahead and add a strike through for me. Um, and it is a very cool little thing. Um, and that actually same key will be used for some more uh, kind of syntax stuff later. Alright, so next, uh, to do underlines, you just do underscore underscore, then your text, and then underscore underscore again. Um, and you can combine all of these little things um, into, you know, or in different combinations in order to create things. So, for example, star 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 will let you do bold and italics. But here I'm showing how to do underline bold and italics. You do underscore underscore star 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 because you have one star for italics. I'm just going to say star instead of asterisk. And two stars for bold. And then, you know, your text. And then I do star 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 and underscore underscore again. And there you go, underlined bold and italic text. Now you could also go ahead and do this with a strike through. So if you add two, uh, two tildes beforehand and two tildes afterwards, um, then it'll go ahead and as you could see here, add some strike throughs to it. And you get this super crazy advanced fancy text that most people won't know how to do. And I should mention also right now, if you stay till the very end, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and create blank lines. Uh, in Discord, so you can't typically do, for example, a blank message, you can't do space enter, but there is a way to do it, especially using some, some Unicode characters, um, which I'll go ahead and show you at the end of it. But anyways, um, next are code blocks. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to first off add what Discord calls a backtick, and the backtick is the key above tab, and of course to the left of one, but you don't press shift in order to get it. They look, you'll see it on screen, uh, and what you could do is you could just type any sort of 
code into it, but this will only work for one line. You can't put any enters in it because, uh, well, it's supposed to, as far, or you might be able to, but as far as I understand, it's only for, for one line. You could do two, um, but, you know, they might have changed it, I don't know. Um, um, now, you could also, by the way, if you want to go ahead and actually have multiple asterisks or, you know, t or underscores or whatever, you could put a backslash uh, in front of uh, your, you know, you, the words with the, you know, stars or underscores, and it'll automatically, uh, well, you won't see the backslash, but uh, the text will not have that effect. But anyways, what I'm going to show you here, let's say I'm going to do double um, backticks, then under it, I'm going to do some example multi-line, uh, an example multi-line thing. And there you go. In order to create those extra lines, I did shift enter. Um, and that'll let you go ahead and, you know, have multiple um, lines of text without automatically sending the message. Um, as you will see, I am doing here. Um, <laughs> the worst part about pre-recording is you could see how awful you are at explaining things um, efficiently. But yeah. So actually, I should mention after this, I'm going to be covering um, code blocks. And actually, it looks like I'm er, multi-line code blocks, really, which I'm going to be showing right now. Except for these multi-line code blocks are going to use syntax highlighting. So you're going to want to do three of these backticks. Um, and then you're going to type in your program language, for example, CSS. And CSS by itself will just let you put any text as green text. So as you saw there, I did three backticks, CSS, then a new line, and then this is green text, and then another uh, three backticks, and it'll say... Uh, this is green text, and you could add anything in between that and it will all become green, unless it is actual CSS. Um, I could also say, for example, to do with the JavaScript, so I do JS instead of CSS. Um, and then on a new line, I'm going to show you some example JavaScript code, um, and I'm going to go, to go ahead and create a new variable here. Now, of course, it doesn't matter if you don't know JavaScript, I'm just showing you an example. For those of you who do know code, um, as to how you would go ahead and do this. For example, I'm saying we're going to have a new variable that's going to be called example variable that'll take its input from a pop-up box of asking uh, for text by just saying text. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and print to the console um, that example variable. Um, and you'll notice here when I go ahead and close the statement, you have to always close your backticks. Then you'll go ahead and create this magical green, blue, uh, red, and gray colored text. It's very, very cool. Um, and I'm going to show a couple more, or one or two more examples here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do two more, which are going to be uh, HTML and also uh, Markdown. So Markdown is the language that's kind of used for Discord. Um, and it's also used for many other things. So Markdown is also used for Reddit um, and a couple of other things. And they let you go ahead and create, you know, all the strike throughs and all that and all the color text. Anyways, I'm going to show you an example with HTML. So I'm going to go ahead going to go ahead and just do some example HTML. Um, this would, I know there are spaces in between h1 and backslash h1. That was just because I wanted to make it look nicer. And there you go. You'll notice it'll go ahead and make those uh, header ones blue. Uh, and last but not least here, we're going to cover Markdown. Now Markdown on something like Reddit will let you go ahead, for example, and create clickable links. So for example, so in order to do that, you would add brackets um, and then parentheses. Um, and inside the brackets, you'd put the uh, what you want to go ahead and be clicked. So for example, in this instance, I had it say click here, I believe. And then you're going to go ahead and put the link itself in the uh, parentheses. So you will see, for example, right here, what I would put as a link. And then when you were to click the click here button, it would go ahead and bring you to patreon.com slash wavejump uh, if you wanted to become a patron. <laughs> Anyways, um, then you'll notice I'm going to add another three back six, but I actually did make a bit of a mistake here. Um, and that was assuming that Markdown would automatically be the language if you didn't add one. But you have to actually go ahead and add the text that, text that says Markdown right after your first three backticks in order to do that. Now you could also do this stuff with, say, XML um, or, you know, other languages. But I just, or Python, I believe, even. Uh, but I'm just doing it with the languages that I, I know. So I also do know Java, but I'm not, or a couple of others, but I'm not, you know, covering every single one of those because you get the point after a little bit. All right, now, of course, you could do all these individual statements, um, and you don't even need to do every single one of these as a different, or uh, on a different message. You could actually have all of these in a single message using shift enter. So you'll see what I mean in just a second here. Um, and right after this, I'm going to be showing you 
uh, how to go ahead and create a blank line. It is a surprisingly easy thing to do, um, and what I should mention is that it works only on, or as far as I know, the easiest way to do it is if you're on Windows and if you have a number pad. You could probably do it somehow on Mac, um, and there are ways to do it without a number pad, which I will cover, but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you all how to create a new line because people think it's very, very cool, um, and it's surprisingly easy to do. Um, but anyways, yeah, here's another example, again, of save markdown links. Um, and if you want to go ahead and see, like, an article by Discord about this, uh, you just Google Discord markdown and you will find a page from them about it. What's weird is that it doesn't cover the strikethroughs anymore. I looked at it earlier, it didn't have strikethroughs on it. But anyways, it'll go ahead and cover, for example, how to combine, you know, italics and underlines and different examples of code. But, yeah, anyways, next, of course, I'm going to be covering this, um... This nice little uh, trick, and in order to go ahead and create this blank character, you're going to do Alt, and then on your number pad, make sure number lock is off, do 0, 1, 7, and 3. So what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to press Alt, and then uh, press 0, 1, 7, 3 in succession. Um, what I do is I hold 0, then I press 1 as I'm letting go of 0, then you know press 7 as I'm letting go of 1, and then press 3, um, something like that. And you'll notice what I'm able to do here by just doing this little trick. I'm creating these blank lines. Um, you can't do space and enter, that's not going to work. Um, and what you could actually do is you could copy and paste this character. Um, so if you are on my Discord, which again, you could find a link to that um, somewhere on my channel. Um, if you go to the reference section, I do, I've actually posted the link character. But here's what's weird about it, is when you go to copy it, you won't actually see um, the selection thing. So right here, for example, I'm going to scroll up and find this blank character. And when I go to actually copy it, um, I've actually selected it, but you can't see that I selected it. It's not blue or anything. You don't you don't see it at all. But anyways, you'll notice I could go ahead and paste it in here. Um, and it just makes it super easy. Now this could actually crash... Um, go ahead and crash Discord for you if you try and uh, place too many of these. Because I guess Discord doesn't really recognize it as characters. So you could do more than the Discord limit and crash Discord. Um, I don't know if they'll ever fix that. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you want to see more Discord content like this. And I apologize if there's no command block tutorial out this week. As I've mentioned in the actual video, I'm just getting exhausted. Um, and I'm, there will be more coming uh, next week if there aren't any this week. But anyways, yeah, once again, thank you uh, for to Shatter and, and Best Noir on Patreon for supporting me. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.